We start tonight at 530 with a look back. This is New Year's Day is accompanied by tough memories for some families in Fall River. On this day last year, a devastating fire at an apartment complex right here displayed 80 people. Two people died as a result. This morning, several of those people who lost their homes came together at the site of the fire. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt joins us now with a look at how they're marking the day. New at 530. On a day when so many of us are looking forward to new challenges and goals, a group in Fall River is taking the time to pause and reflect. Today marks one year since these families lost their homes, some losing it all. Yeah, we made it out, so that's the important thing. Some perspective this New Year's Day from those who know what it's like to lose it all. I just heard this horrific crash. At the hour when their homes began to burn before their eyes, families and the first responders who worked to save them coming together. By the time we got around to the front of the building, the flames were all three floors already. And it just went up so fast. Deborah and Jack Steele, just one of the families affected. Police say a car lost control and drove into one of the units. Both the people in the car died. The crash started the fire. It spread quickly. All 68 units gone in a matter of minutes. And they were scattered all over the place. So now we had to count for those people. We had to look for those people to make sure that there was no one in the building. You know, we rebuilt pretty much everything so far. Not only did the fire warrant a massive response from firefighters, but the community as well. Toy drives, clothing collections, and fundraisers garnering thousands for families. You know, so everybody helped. Everybody came together. People can say what they want about Fall River. But when it's needed, they're there. It's painful for some to come back to this site, a reminder of how much they've lost and how far they've come. The lot where that apartment building used to sit is still empty. Many of the people I spoke with today say they are getting back on their feet, some of them getting units in that same complex. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.